Good morning, Facebook friends. This is Donna Mead from Ken's Automotive Transmissions in Frederick, Maryland. Just wanted to update you on this Monday morning, March 23rd, um, about some of the um, updates we've been doing here at the shop for this COVID-19 precautions. Uh, we are considered essential. Automotive repair gas stations are considered essential. We are open so that we can make sure that our essential employees, such as nurses, doctors, um, you know, our first responders and things like that have transportation to get to and from work to help keep our community safe and protected. Um, so we are considered an essential need. Um, <clears throat> because we are considered essential, we have gone and taken some extra precautions uh, in addition to our daily cleansing and, and sanitizing that we do on a daily basis. We, um, I made a video last week showing some of the th items that we are doing for the cars and things like that. Um, I want to let you know about the services that we're currently providing um, and how we're doing that. Um, right now, we are encouraging uh, drop-off and pickup um, after hours. Uh, you could drop your car off in the evening or first thing in the morning and then pick it up after hours. Uh, we do have an early bird box. The early bird box is sanitized Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., um, the ink pens are also sanitized. Everything in there is sanitized. If you do drop off and you use an ink pen, please take the ink pen with you. Do not put the ink pen back. Um, after 5 p.m. Um, and on the weekends, it is not sanitized. So we ask that you take extra precautions when using that drop off early bird uh, drop off box. Uh, make sure you're using um, extra precautions after our business hours. <clears throat> we are offering a pickup and delivery of your vehicle. We will come um, and get your vehicle and, and deliver it when it is repaired. Uh, we are taking with us sanitary wipes, um, steering wheel covers, and seat covers so that when we get into your vehicle, we sanitize your keys, your steering wheel, and we put a seat cover on. We're sanitizing the door handles inside and out, gear shifts, turn signal, um, uh, your turn signal handles, radio controls and things of that sort. Uh, we do that for every vehicle before we get into it. And then it is sanitized again after we um, get done repairing it. So when you pick it up, it is sanitized. So you can be assured that your steering wheels and things have been wiped down. We are putting steering wheel covers over those. However, the steering wheel covers will be removed when you pick up the vehicle um, so that the wheel underneath is still sanitized. <clears throat> um, Employees are practicing safe distancing and, and um, here at the shop, we have locked our lobby door to foot traffic. We will not allow foot traffic into the shop. We are trying to protect both you and our employees. Our employees have children at home, so we're doing what we can in, in extra precautions to make sure that their families are also very safe. Our employees are practicing safe distancing within the shop. They are staying home um, and practicing safe distancing at home and staying quarantined at the homes. We have offered our employees in the mornings when they come in at 6 37 a.m. if they need to go to the grocery store to get items that they can do so. This keeps them out of the grocery store um, in the evenings for added protection and to keep our core group here at the shop healthy um, during this time. <clears throat> We are doing business Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. as we always have by email, phone, texting. You can visit our website at www.com, Ken's Trans, K-E-N-S-T-R-A-N-S.com to make an appointment online. You can give Mark and Jeff a call at 301-662-5100. They will answer any questions you have regarding safety or vehicle repair. Um, we are having our parts delivery delivered outside. They are not allowed in our office all either. They deliver it outside on a table that we'll be providing for them. And then we will go outside and bring that part inside with gloves on to make sure that this our environment is staying safe and sanitary. <clears throat> um, we did have seven drop-offs this morning when we came in. We had seven people drop their vehicles off over the weekend. Thank you so very, very much for your trust in us and for keeping us uh, steady. Our goal is to keep our employees employed, uh, not laying anybody off. Uh, we are 
planning to keep them here for 45 hours a week like we always do. We see nothing in the near future that we need to do to, de to lay them off. We have plenty of projects around here. We've got lots of cleaning to do. We've got lots of little projects we've been wanting to get done and haven't been able to do so because we've been busy. We are still busy. We are what I call a slow steady, which is awesome. And it's a great blessing. And we, again, appreciate you guys, um, you know, dropping your vehicles off and letting us take care of you and your family and keeping everything safe. Um, our country's been through a lot of tough times over the centuries and over the years, much more difficult than this. We will get through this as a country, um, even more importantly, as a community. If we practice the safety precautions that have been put in place by the CDC, we will come out of this stronger than before, as we always seem to do as a country and as a community. Again, thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Do not hesitate to call us, 301-662-5100. Thank you, and please stay safe.